Have you ever wondered what your husband or boyfriend or significant other knew about your collection and handbags in general? I'm asking Mr. AKB Bags today. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and this is Mr. AKB Bags and welcome to the Babe Cave with special guest. <laughs> Like I told you in the intro, I have been wanting to do these questions and to see how much he knows from my channel, from what I've talked about and all the purses I have. So now he gets to get these questions. So first one is, what is this? Um, I think it's that uh, bag hanger thing with the weight on it that you bought. Yep. Did it. Well, I got it for Galentine's. <laughs> I, I did it. So it's a purse hook. All right, okay. What is your favorite bag in my collection? Uh, this one, right do, here. Do you know the name of it? Tavoli. Tavoli PM. <laughs> what does the PM stand for? Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. It's not about me. <laughs> Win. Okay. <laughs> What is Vaqueta leather? It's that uh, tan type leather that you see on a lot of Louis Vuitton bags that goes around the outside of the canvas and on the handles. Yes. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> what is your favorite small bag that I own? Hmm. I'll probably say this one here. Just because I like the other one. It's like this. It's bigger. Do you know what this is called? It's a coach. Something. <laughs> I don't Honestly, know. Honestly, I didn't expect him to know. <laughs> it's a denim something. Denim, jacquard, and this is the Nolita 15 with, what is this? Vaqueta leather. <laughs> All right. I knew that. <laughs> And I promise I will not get mad at you for this next question. What is the ugliest bag I own? Oh, man. And this is his choice. My, turn it around. Elliot Luca woven <laughs> hobo bag. <laughs> He's not a fan. Why not? Uh, it's just, uh, maybe it's just because it's too slouchy. Baggy, loose, giant. Looks like something my mom would carry. No offense, but but I don't think I see you carry it. So I don't carry it that often, but big bags and slouchy bags are in. <laughs> That's going to be a no for me. Okay. <laughs> Which bag would you carry? This is cheating. <laughs> this is his brief that I got him that we need to dust off and use. <laughs> This is the only bag I guess he would carry is the slim brief from Coach Outlet with the puffy C's on it. This is a cool bag with a lot of compartments. We need to, we took it on a trip. Has a front back pocket and then it zips all the way down and there are gussets if you've ever seen one of these. This is what the inside looks like. So yeah, I see why this would be the only one. Because <laughs> I got him that for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Next question. Favorite video I have done? I have to say your cleaning tutorials. Probably the, maybe the last one that you did. You did a restore on a black bag. That one. Uh, no, it was one that I think that you let go. Oh, my Tory Burch. Yeah, but oh. it was super relaxing and informative and uh, you just had a lot of steps and I remember what it looked like when you got it and then after it left the house it looked like a completely different bag brand new and and I sold it yeah what is a hobo bag uh it's like that silver woven thing that I was holding there it's a big slouchy 
Puddle. Yeah, and, and uh, they're in, uh, in in style right now. <laughs> Everybody likes them. <laughs> but you've had a lot of different hobos and yeah. that have come and gone. So That's true. Your favorite color bag in my collection. Uh, I'd probably say the denim ones that you have are pretty cool. I like denim, and you've got a lot of different styles of denim, and I think those you could really use year-round. I don't think there's a certain season you have to look for or yeah. have to put them away in the winter or anything like that. I think just like jeans, you can wear jeans anytime. So I do wear the denim ones year-round, but more probably in the summer. But I agree, you can wear them whenever. Favorite coach bag? Uh, favorite coach bag, I think, is going to be the uh, one that we got you for your most recent birthday after I had an epic fail getting her a bag that I picked out myself that had to go back. <clears throat> we didn't even open it. Like, it just went right back. So that's my new favorite one. The coach Rowan in denim and pebbled leather on the sides and the bottom. Yep, I've showed this many a times. We don't have to show it over. <laughs> I see why that's a favorite. Also on style and trend. And denim. And denim. Favorite, Dooney. Oh, I think that I will pick. So, do you know what this is called? It's a satchel. It's a Dooney. And it's black. Do you know what kind of leather this is? Pebbled leather? No. All weather leather? No. I don't know. Florentine leather. Florentine. <laughs> it is an awesome bag. It's the Florentine Dooney and Burke satchel, formerly known as the small. So, With some you. interesting tassel covers on them that I believe you got from Timu. Yes. I forgot to do the other side. <laughs> Oopsie. What is your favorite Louis Vuitton bag? And you can't say Tivoli again. Because I already grabbed that one. So outside of that one, I would pick... I always thought this one was pretty neat. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, but I know what kind of leather it is. So, uh, This one is the Viva City GM. Grande. 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 <laughs> That's what we'll call it. Large. <laughs> <laughs> they have the smaller version too, but... I mean, I, I agree. This is such a great bag, and I love to hear this. <laughs> and it's a shoulder bag. It holds a lot. It has the zipper on the top. I can agree with you on that one. Definitely. It's a pretty it's, cool bag. It's a good bag. Mm -hmm. And you can buy these bigger sizes for a decent price for vintage style. So, there you go. There you go. Which bag has the best leather smell? Well, I think... And it still smells like leather like crazy. See, I don't smell that one as much. Hmm. No, I can smell this one. Oh. To me, it's like almost like the uh, like a baseball glove leather smell to it. Mm -hmm. This is the Coach Rogue 25 in the color Saddle. Of course, the Tom Wesselman lips that, you know, I love the bag. <laughs> so, yeah, it does smell a little bit, but I would pick a Dooney. Those smell a lot, and then that American leather had a really strong smell. I think it's because it's subtle, and I'm not big on, like, this huge, like, loud, screaming leather smell, and it's just very subtle smelling. And, yeah. Uh, I just, like I said, it kind of reminds me of a baseball glove, like a new baseball glove, not, not an old one. And that's where glove tan leather, they started with the baseball glove. So, you know, it makes sense. Yep. So I get it. <laughs> what is an SLG? Small leather good. That sometimes aren't leather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never understood that either. But why do, they, yeah, why do they still call them small leather goods? Why can't they just be small... Small goods? Goods. S so they are, I mean... SG. Or... I mean. Little pouches in your bag, you know? Little bags. Little bags in yeah. your bags. <laughs> bags inside your bags, like one of the Russian dolls. <laughs> yes. Which bag looks best on me? I'm going to say this one right here, just because I like everything is black, and it's just it's classy looking. Uh, you know, maybe it's more for, you know, nighttime or 
going somewhere fancy, but I think you could pull it off pretty much any time if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. And I added my little, look how cute this little dog charm is with this back that I got from Timu recently. Yep. And this one has a back pocket. It is the Coach Pillow Madison with the gunmetal dark hardware. It is awesome. I agree. I need to carry that this winter okay. for sure. What bag or brand should I try next? Mm. This may be a total stumping. I, I still think it's Gucci time. I think it's time for a Gucci. I think it's the one thing in the collection you need at least one of. Not a Fuji? No, not a Fuji, even though she has maybe something that resembles a certain Gucci bag that's not a Gucci bag and isn't doesn't claim to be a Gucci bag. But it looks kind of like a specific one. And I'm not saying you should get that one, uh. per se. I'm just thinking Gucci. I think you need to have at least one in your collection. I like to see it. I have a... Uh, a bag that I just beat up on that's Gucci and it's just like the straps are breaking now but I had it for so long and it's been through so many trips and I, I just think it was built well and it was a duffel bag yeah a duffel, a duffel bag. bag yep yep and I, it's basically it's, coming apart it, the strap is the rest of it seems to be okay but the strap is pretty beat up but I used to take it to shows and you know we're talking heavy metal shows and you know, thrown in the back of trailers, on the ground, at all kinds of different venues, and yeah. We'll have to show them that sometime, but, so a Gucci. Gucci. Okay. What is a belt bag? Ah, uh, is it like a fanny pack? <laughs> I don't, that's what I would think of if I heard belt bag, I'd be like, it's a fanny pack. You're just trying to church it up right now. It's a fanny pack. We grew up in the 80s when they were called fanny packs. Yeah. <laughs> but now they're belt bags. Belt bags. But I still picture some old dude in flip-flops and patterned shorts with a sun it's visor sun. on and a giant obnoxious fanny pack that's like yeah. bright yellow or something pulls like that. Pulls out a camera out of yeah, it. Yeah, pulls a camera out <laughs> or going to pay cash for whatever he's you know, on the pier getting ready to order, and it's just, I would never carry one. I've never carried one. I can't pull one off. I'm six foot eight, so if I had one, everyone's going to know I have it, and and I'll be uh, made fun of. <laughs> <laughs> so so no no belt bags? Not for okay. me. No, but you, you have a few, I think. You have a couple, and yeah. they're, they're not terrible. I think maybe they're styled better now. I don't know if it's a what they're made out of or but I, yeah i think the 80s was more of a flimsier m nylon material yeah. now everyone likes the lululemon and those hold up really nice and louis vuitton has a belt bag and yeah lululemon and lululemon <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite bag charm that i have ah uh, <laughs> well it's obvious that <laughs> why it's obvious that I, I like the lips, and it's now, you know, welcome to the babe cave, yeah. basically is my big mouth, right? I, I think every time I see this now, I just think of your channel, and mm -hmm. uh, it's just maybe, I don't know, a signature for you, but, uh, you know, it's just maybe not specifically this but like it's been kind of incorporated in the style and like over there there's a picture uh of lips and uh louis vuitton emblem and it just kind of seems like a, a theme in here and so uh yeah by far this one like tom I, wesselman coach charm yeah yep and i have the black one too and, so yep. <laughs> i see why you like that which one which color which color of bag in my collection do you not like? Well, I don't remember who got the bag, but I called it the Grimace bag. So if you guys remember Grimace from McDonald's, it was that color purple. And I'm just not a big fan of purple. I have a purple shirt. I think it's a polo and sometimes I wear it, but I don't know. It just, it seemed like somebody hunted down poor Grimace and turned him into a handbag. And so, yeah, that's probably my least favorite color of any bag that you've ever had. I'm not saying the bag was terrible. Whoever got it out there, you know <laughs> who you are. I'm just, yeah, that color, it just, 
I mean, I'm like, I don't know what it's going to go with. Uh, unless you wore, like, an all-white outfit. I don't know what you could wear with that. Like, I don't see... I mean, you wear yellow with it, you, you look like you're a Vikings fan or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. I oh, just, we went to football. Yeah, I just... <laughs> it doesn't work with anything, I don't uh, think. Do you remember the first bag you purchased for me? Yes, it was a coach bag. I want to say it's that one down there. Sure, I think it's this one. Yes, uh -oh. he picked this one out, so I have not ever gotten rid of it. It's, it, it only costs $70. I think I mentioned that in the previous video. And you just can't buy a coach bag for $70 mm. anymore. But, yeah, it has feet on the bottom and everything. And, you know, uh, we're Broncos fans, so I think that's why he liked this orange kind of salmon color. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I've never gotten rid of it. It's a good bag. And when she says that I picked it up, she picked it up. I, might, I may have spotted it, but I guarantee it would have never left that store if she didn't like it herself. Okay, let me put it this way. I gave him three choices, <laughs> or two, and he picked this one. And he, I don't have anything in my collection like it, and I still don't. So, he did a good job. <laughs> so, he didn't fail every bag. Yeah. I just, I like to be given choices, and then I'll pick a choice, just like him. I will never try to blind buy a bag again for her. <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> okay, final question. What is your favorite thumbnail that you made for me for YouTube? Hmm. And I'll just pop a picture up in between. You know, that's a hard one. I mean, I like I like the prison one where it looks like we're sitting face to face angry and, you know, we're questioning each other like you're in a, you know, in a police department or something like that. That was pretty funny. But so I think probably my favorite one would be the birthday hit or miss uh, with a giant cupcake on it. So like. I have all kinds of different layers that are going under and over, and then it's a picture of her and I, and it's it just tells this whole story of how I tried to pick out a bag for her, and it was a complete fail, and then I got her help. And so we got the same style of bag, just not the same print, so. So yeah, he started taking over my thumbnails probably maybe two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, because I wanted to crank out videos and then he had Photoshop, so I know he can take, do excellent thumbnails. He, I, he is the guy that I, supports. I just did her 146th and 5th one today, so that's how many I've done so far. So, they're, they're not all like, uh, you know, like award winners or anything like that, but it's fun. I like doing it for her and uh to you you uh people out there that keep sending her emails and uh saying that you can do better than me i'm not buying it no nah. i've seen it and no nah, no nah, mm. you can't hang with me so i'm sorry you just can't <laughs> so he has been by my side and supporting me and i just wanted to throw out some questions just for fun i i didn't expect him to get all of them right or wrong so get you a husband that supports what you do and, and that will be by your side, even do goofy uh, videos with you, just to change it up a little bit and have a little fun. I appreciate Mr. AKB Bags coming again to my channel and answering some tough questions. <laughs> the hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh, you know, and not take stuff so seriously all the time. Because we're living in a time of chaos, in our opinion, and uh, sometimes you need a good laugh. And so I hope that's what we did for you. And uh, I appreciate all of you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and he will occasionally pop his head in here. Buy more bags. Uh, and buy more bags. <laughs> So, I eventually yeah. am going to do a video of showing all the ones I have listed for sale, but, you know, I haven't gotten around to that yet. <laughs> so, hit the bell so you won't miss my future videos that I put up, and I try to pop in some shorts in between so you don't get used to not seeing me. I want you to be able to see me a little bit, if anything. So, I appreciate you all and all the new subscribers. Welcome, and yes, this is my husband, and he is a... A good sport usually on these types of videos every once in a while Jeez. so <laughs> give him some love down below and ask your husband some of these questions it's it's just fun and it's a way to communicate 
in a different way that stuff that you enjoy and then you can ask he can ask his questions about what he enjoys so it's all about communication <laughs> so thank you for watching and i will talk to you soon in the next video bye